Today's schedule was uh, just as intense. We uh, started off with uh, Mikkel Sando from the Roskilde Festival telling us about how they serve 150,000 drunken youngsters good food. Marvelous story to hear. And then we had a very concrete example from Fred, Frederick Melin from Stockholm, and Fred's food truck is actually just starting up the business. And he's doing all this fighting with the legislation in the, the municipality of Stockholm. And, and uh, he's really done a journey. and. and very interesting story to hear also. People are really happy to see something like this on the streets doing what we're doing. So it's all, uh, all good words from everyone and uh, said this is something that's been missing on the streets before. New Naughty Food and Taste of Skåne decided to, to organize this together as I, I have a passion for street food and since I started working here with the Taste of Skåne I, I wanted to work with street food so it has been such a pleasant conference with a lot of happy people and enthusiastic people from four of the Nordic countries. This conference has been very, uh, I would say, enlightening uh, in terms of how little we know about street food. It's a good crowd and it's a very good size because you actually get to meet the people and talk to them. Everyone here is so is inspired uh, and that's, that, that's very positive. It's, it's been a, a very positive uh, impact on me. I work with the whole field of food so I haven't been into street food before um, as this is also a new movement. It was interesting to hear the practical examples I think the conference has been amazingly optimistic. I feel energized, I feel hopeful, I feel very optimistic. I have so much inspiration. It's just kind of overwhelming. I don't know where to put it. I need to kind of open my head and lift, you know, drop it off somewhere. But meeting like this is it's marvelous and it just fills people with inspiration.